Hey man, if any of you run around the channel for any length of time, you know I get a lot of a lot of joy out of tweaking the bushcraft guys. And uh, uh, as you know, the bushcraft guys love their saws, and they they love they love the silky saw. Uh, so I get it. Saws are useful. Uh, what I don't get is the comment I get a lot. I get this comment a lot. My silky saw is so, I could cut so fast with that silky saw, yeah, way faster than your ax. I get that comment a lot whenever I do these. So I thought, uh, I thought today we'd have some fun. We're gonna do a, a silky saw versus ax speed test. I actually don't know how this is gonna go. I think, I think the ax is going to win by a long margin, but, but let me show you what we're gonna do today. All right. So, you just saw my silky saw. Uh, this is the big boy. It's in pretty good shape. I keep this in the truck. You know, we work around houses. Sorry. And so if I've ever got to cut a tree back so I can get up a ladder up against the house, I use my silky saw to make the cut nice and pretty. So it's in decent shape. I use it a fair amount, but, you know, it stays inside and... It's never been in the dirt or anything. All right, the trees we're, we'll talk about, we'll talk about the ax in a second. The tree we're gonna use is this red oak and this white oak. And to make it kind of fair, we're gonna, so I'll probably end up cutting the, the white oak about right here with the ax. That'll about be where my swing goes. And then on the red oak, so then, We'll, we'll, we'll use the silky saw about right here on the red oak. Now, we're gonna do the white oak with the ax and the red oak with the silky saw, which should favor the silky saw because red oak is a little bit of a softer wood than white oak. Now, the next question is the ax. I've been, I've been doing a lot with this six pound uh, American felling ax. This is the custom from northpointax.com. Oh shit, let me tell you about that, by the way. Oh, give me a second, uh, and I'll tell you about northpointax.com. I am hopping mad at the state of Maine. Uh, you guys might say that was unfair, because this thing is just a an utter beast. I mean, it is an utter beast. So I'm using a, a, a not a very large silky saw, so maybe using that six pound ax, you'd think that was unfair. I got this other custom axe. Wow, that's in there tight. I got this other custom axe from Adam over there at North Point Axe that I love. This is an incredibly well-balanced cruising axe. They call it, he calls it a main double bit, uh, the, the pattern on the head. I love this thing. Like, uh, both of these are custom handmade axes. So you could make the argument that that's not a fair test. So what we're going to use is we're going to use this little camp axe. I like to call them a limbing axe. It's a Holtzbrook. It's a, I think it's a two and a quarter pound head. Uh, still, it's still a nice axe. I really like using it, but it's a little smaller, so maybe you won't think it's so unfair. Check out this shit about Adam though at North Point Axe. He got, he gets a letter from the state of Maine. Uh, screw, screw Maine and screw liberals. Uh, some laws changed. They want back taxes on all out of sale, state sales for the last four years. They want four years of back sales taxes or, or they said this too now, or uh, a statement saying that he's closed his business. How stupid do you have to be to say, oh, we want tax revenue, but you, so give it to us or close your business. Is that not killing the goose that laid the golden egg? I mean, not that Adam's some, you know, multi-billion dollar international corporation or anything, but still, you want tax revenue and you're going to force a business to close? That's, that's insanely, it's retroactive. I don't get it. So, unfortunately, Adam's closing his business. Uh, and and he's, he's just going back into the workforce. So, screw you, man. You and your stupid policies just cost yourself a small business. And you put someone back in the in the labor force instead of just incredibly stupid. D do me a favor, please go support Adam. Uh, 
he's he's letting his stock dwindle. He's going to have some sales. I remember he's got those Mora knives, uh, and he's got some other Elkridge knives, and then he's still got a little bit of custom stuff left. He's got this really cool uh, handmade dagger called a patch knife uh, that apparently was a a pattern used in the Civil or the Revolutionary War. Uh, it sounds like it had something to do with with black powder rifles. Uh, it's a really neat looking little knife, and it's it's not very expensive at all for a handmade knife. So someone should go snag that before it's gone. Uh, and then, uh, you know, like I said, screw you liberals, you self-destructive idiots. I, I'm just so pissed. Uh, Adam's been a good friend. Anyway, there you go. Uh, we're going to do this thing. We're going to, oh, we're going to time it today too. We're, we're going to, we're going to be scientific. Uh, here we go. Starting the stopwatch now. Tell you one thing, silky saw isn't easier than an axe. I almost wonder if I, I needed this big wedge. Right here. I'll tell you why I did this wedge. It's because you need a wedge to be able to control the fall of the tree. You know, I could just done a straight shot and it might have been uh, quicker but not really honest because even with a small tree like this you want to be able to control the direction I mean I'll, I'm trying to control this to go right there And I don't think that's something everyone factors in when they use their silky saw to prune your know, two inch thick branches. The tree's already leaning. Okay, what's this still need? What's that count as?
Okay, let's see. Can y'all see that? It's backwards, isn't it? It's 9, 12, 85. Nine minutes, 12 seconds, and 8,500. All right, here we go. Here's our, uh, it's about right. Timer started. Holy shit. Two minutes and 42 seconds. It's more than a third of the time. So please, don't ever tell me your saw is faster than an axe. Man, even if you do believe in the, even if you do suffer from the uh, silky saw, and by the way, silky saw is a good saw. I'm not saying it's not a good saw. I'm saying it's not a replacement for an axe. So even if you do suffer from that delusion, then we appreciate you. Thank you.